and welcome back to the channel. This is Weaver Adventures and you're probably thinking, what exactly is this? Why, why this channel? Well, if you are asking that question, then it's honestly just a way for me to be creative. I love adventures, I love travel, I love exploring. Um, and one of my biggest dreams has always been to go out and explore the world and share that with other people because traveling growing up is not something that I did. And so, on this channel, we're just gonna share our family's adventures, different things that we're doing. I'm gonna use it as my creative outlet to just have fun. I am a mama who loves to hike. I love sunshine, anything outdoors. So expect to be seeing a lot of that. Today, I wanna discuss the basics of hiking. This is something that I'm starting to explore more as a mom. I never really let myself have fun. How weird is that? I instead, put my kids as my number one responsibility. And I love them and they're amazing, but sometimes we have to remind ourselves it's important to take care of us. It's important to do things that we love too. There's no shame in that. So something I love is hiking and I'm diving into more of that. But before I really dive into it, I've kind of had to, to start somewhere. And the biggest question is where do I even start? Because it's, it can be overwhelming. There's so much information out there. But I want to assure you that you don't have to have any special equipment in order to start hiking. You have to have your legs, some shoes, some water, and a trail, and that's pretty much it, right? So I wanna share the basics that I have used up to this point um, before I start diving into all of the new gear that I find, the new things that I'm using. I wanna show you what I have. So to start out, I actually would hike maybe one, two, I've hiked up to four miles in like Walmart brand shoes. I definitely don't recommend it because they are not the greatest and especially the support, you're gonna feel it the next day. But Walmart shoes and a simple backpack. Doesn't matter what kind of backpack, it is just, this is just a simple one and then a front pouch, backpack. Easy peasy, nothing special. I would put snacks in that and especially we hit up Turkey Run and we hiked all day and with my Walmart shoes and that backpack, and it was perfectly fine. I love to make sure I have all the water. I think water is very important. I've hiked with people who've never, who like, who don't take water, and I think that that is ludicrous because you never know what the conditions are like, and it's so important that you hydrate your body. So when I hike, I normally take one of these. That way I can just hook on with me, and I have one or multiple of these, especially if I have my kids with me, my family with me, sitting in the vehicle waiting for us when we get back. And then you also can get these fancy dancy um, water bottles that you can fill up and carry with you. Oh gosh. So that once they are empty, once they're empty, you simply just squish them back together and throw them in your bag. Once I realized I really enjoyed hiking and I wanted to get out on the trails more, I invested in some shoes. I actually invested in these in running for running. Um, Brooks, I am such a cheapskate. I do not like spending money on myself at all. But I wanted to run a triathlon and so I knew that I had to invest in better shoes because my shins would constantly kill me. Got these puppies and oh my gosh, the difference that it makes. And I love them so much that I decided to actually turn them into my trail runners. They are my hiking shoes. Now, I love that they have a little traction here. As you can tell, they're muddy because I took them out on the trail. Tons of support, tons of cushion. Um, I actually hiked about seven miles in these in the sand up in Michigan. And I did not feel any pressure on my feet or on my hips the next day. My legs felt it, but these gave me adequate support. What else do I take out with me now that I have? So I actually use this little fanny pack. Just clip it around my waist. And this is for short little hikes and longer hikes if I wanted to. And it has a place for my phone to go, a few little snacks if I need. I normally have hooks where I can clip this on right here or I can hook my keys to. And this specific fanny pack actually will unzip and you can take your full water bottle, maybe, and you can just pop her in there. So I can turn it off to the side, I'm ready to go. And then whenever I want to drink, just pull that back, pull this off, and we're good to go. So this is an option just when, especially when it's nice weather, I will just go out just like this um, in leggings, t-shirt, jacket with a water, my phone, 
can hook my keys on here and I'm good to go. Although I started hiking a little bit more when it's cold out and to be honest, all I need is my winter coat because I have this huge winter coat I got from Burlington Coat Factory, it was a long time ago, but it keeps me warm, keeps the drafts out and I'm gonna zip you up because I'm gonna show you that you don't have to have anything special. You just have to have your feet and you just have to go. Pocket for my phone, gloves, hats, obviously extra of those, and my water can fit right in there and I'm good to go. Obviously this is a little bit uncomfortable, um, so it's not my first go-to option, but if I'm just doing a short hike when it's cold out, then I have no problem there. But I like to keep it super simple. Even with my winter coat on, just my backpack works absolutely perfect. This is what I took with me to Michigan and it was had everything that I needed in it. Um, it doesn't matter what style of backpack. Your most important things are going to be one, that you tell someone where you're going so that at all times someone knows to be on the lookout for you. Two, you have adequate footwear. While Walmart shoes did work for short half mile, mile hikes, I don't recommend them for long extended hikes. Invest in some nice shoes. Um, you kind of got to do your own shopping when it comes to that. I'm just now researching more into better shoes. I love my Brooks, absolutely love them, and I would wear them until they are, the soles are smooth, right? Totally love them. But just make sure you have good footwear and you're taking water out on the trail with you. Other than that, just go. So you'll have shoes, you have water, but now what? <laughs> One of the biggest things was, where do I go? Where do I go? I don't, I don't know, I've never hiked before. So what I did was I actually downloaded an app. It's called All Trails and it's actually absolutely amazing. It can be set for your location and it can search the surrounding areas for trails that are near you. Or maybe you're going to some other place while you're in that place. You could simply open your All Trails app, look for trails nearby and it's gonna give you everything that there is. It's gonna tell you the distance, the difficulty, and you're gonna have other users feedback from those hikes. So I definitely recommend downloading that. Um, and I'm super excited for you. I'm excited that you're diving into getting outside, spending time in nature and going hiking. And if this is something that you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button so that you all, you get all the notifications for my new videos and you get to partake or adventure along with my family and I. I hope this channel is, it brings you joy. I hope this channel brings you joy, some help, some tips, advice, and, and I'm always here to answer your questions and share as I learn along with you. So, happy trails.